If you are a smart contract programmer who cares about security and wants to make sure that his smart contracts and his protocol won't get hacked, today I'm going to show you a new free revolutionary tool that is going to help you to find and fix vulnerabilities yourself before booking and paying for external smart contract audit and security review. And that way you can save a lot of time for these auditors and make sure they use this time, this expensive time that you're going to pay with good dollars. They're going to use it efficiently to find the critical bugs that you cannot find. So you make sure that the repo and the code base and the smart contracts are ready to pass through the next phase to the auditors. And if you are smart contract auditor this video is also great for you because it's a great tool that will help you to find those issues that are more low hanging fruits and this is by far the best static analyzer for smart contract on the market it has a very low rate of false positives and false negatives it has super cool advanced vulnerabilities detectors awesome user interface and user experience with integration in VS code in inside your IDE, inside your code editor. And the coolest thing about it that it has a live interactive interface, which means that meanwhile you fix the issues on your smart contracts, you see them disappearing from the issues list without running the scan again. It's automatically scanning your contracts all the time, interactively while you fix the vulnerabilities. So either if you are a smart contract developer or a smart contract auditor, this video is perfect for you. Without further ado, let's get started. And this revolutionary tool that I'm talking about is called Olympics, olympics.ai. This is the website, dev first web tree security that start at the source. The idea here that you fix the vulnerability, you find them. Meanwhile, writing the source code, implementing the smart contract and the protocol, and you fix the vulnerabilities as you go so you can prepare better to the final exam, to the smart contract audit, to the audit contest, whatever it might be. It's basically a VS Code extension that integrates with your IDE and scans your smart contracts all the time. Unlike Slither, you don't need to run some kind of CLI, some kind of command. It's just a very nice UX tool that integrates into your VS Code and shows you the vulnerabilities like you can see in the picture over here. Obviously, it's currently in beta version. They are constantly improving it, pushing new detectors, removing false positives. And I tested it too like three months ago. And now today it's completely different, so much better than it used to be. And that's why I like this tool so much because I use it constantly in every single audit to find all the low hanging fruit instead of wasting time and finding them myself. It scans all the contract and finds them for me. We will see in a second how it looks like. So this is the website you can feel free to check it out and read about this tool so in order to install the tool you can use the link in the description below johnnytime xyz slash olympics early access you're basically going to get free early access to this amazing tool and then you can just access this link install the vs code extension and once you do it you will see here on your vs code a new tab here called olympics this is how the tool looks like. It's already integrated with your VS Code. Now here, this uh, button will lead you to settings. And in the settings, you can either choose if you want to analyze the whole project, all the folders, or you can basically define a folder of smart contracts which you want to scan. So you see over here, I have in scope. So you can put all the smart contracts that you want to scan in this folder, or you can just change the folder that you want to scan. You can edit it. Here you can select which detectors you want to enable or disable. Maybe some of the detectors are raising too many false positives for you and you don't want to use them. So you can just turn them off. And this is the settings of Olympics. As you can see here, we are using the smart contract hacking course repository with all the exercises. Obviously we have here in the contracts folder, a lot of smart contracts that are vulnerable to, to hacks. Uh, so we wanna give Olympics here this path that's called contracts. 
and we want Olympics to scan all the smart contracts inside and see what kind of vulnerabilities it's able to find. So I'm going to click here, start analysis. The analysis is super fast. It's, it's really, it's like flash fast tool and super quickly it just analyzed and found so many vulnerabilities over here and we can see them here in a list categorized to high medium and low obviously it found a lot of vulnerabilities because all these smart contracts has either access control vulnerabilities arithmetic overflows re nvc attacks you know all kind of vulnerabilities. So you can see all the vulnerabilities categorized by severity and by name. For instance, it found seven instances of locked ether, which is high severity. And we can click here on the locked ether and we see all the instances, all the lines of code, all the smart contracts where Olympics was able to find this issue. This signature, for example, detects whether there is a smart contract that receives Ether, but there is no withdrawal function and there is no way to extract the Ether from the function. And here we can see one of the exercises here, it detected that this contract multi-signature wallet secured, it's an exercise from replay attack chapter, uh, has potential locked ETH. And this contract obviously receives ETH. It has a payable function. And maybe ETH, this ETH might be locked because there is no way to extract it. Another cool issue that it found is this block randomness. We can see that it has three instances. We can click it, scroll down, and we see that perfectly it found the issue in randomness vulnerability exercise number two in game 2.sol and it actually jumps directly to the line of code where this issue exists, as you can see over here. So the value, it's a spoiler for the smart contract hacking course. So if you're a student and you didn't go through the randomness vulnerabilities chapter, then don't watch this video or just skip this part because Olympics is kind of cheating, you know, if you use it for the course or for auditing contests or for auditing in general, it's kind of cheating because it's gonna spoiler you and tell you the vulnerabilities beforehand and here you can see that we use not a secure way to generate a random value we use block hash with the block number and we convert it cast it to unsigned int and olympics was able to spot it and tell it to us and in a very nice ux very nice ui we can see that it basically just let us go directly to the line of code and now we can actually fix this issue, fix this vulnerability. For example, change this line of code from value that is derived from the block hash just to change it to 13 and just save this line of code. And we are supposed to see that while changing it, as you can see, automatically without running the scan again, it's constantly scanning the contracts. Every update, it updates the scan. We can see that this vulnerability was removed because we just fixed it. So if you are a smart contract developer, this is a best approach for you. You can scan your smart contracts, feel, fix those vulnerabilities in real time and see them disappearing from the instances of the report that was generated for you by Olympics automatically. Let's just return it to the previous value, save it, and let's see what happened. Again, I click here, block randomness, and I see that those vulnerabilities appeared again because we returned the vulnerable code. And as you can see here, there are so many detectors and so many highs, mediums, and lows that it detects for you automatically. So I definitely recommend checking out this tool if either if you're an auditor or developer. Now, the next test that I want to do with Olympics is to take a fresh repository from an ongoing auditing contest in Code Arena and see what vulnerabilities it finds and see if they're valuable. Maybe I can report them. Sometimes they will be covered by the bot gas reports. So spoiler alert, you can use Olympics to generate maybe gas reports because it's pretty good, right? Uh, but some of them might open new directions for you as an auditor, right? That participate in auditing contests or doing a private audit. Maybe it won't be a critical high severity vulnerability, but it will give you some ideas of other vulnerabilities that you might find later. It might give you a better idea of the code base that you're auditing and reading and trying to understand. So currently we have the 60k AR Arena contest that ends in eight days. It's a code base with like AI, gamification, some kind of, I don't know, NFTs. I didn't explore the code base that much. So I'm trying to show someone that I have no idea 
about this code base. I don't know what, what it's about. Platform or fighting game, Pokemon, Super Smash Bros, some kind of AI, NFTs, gamification project. And I have the repo here locally. So this is the repo that I cloned it to my local machine. I open it with VS Code. And now we're gonna try to use Olympics to see what it tells us about this SRC folder about a smart contract. So I'll go to Olympics and change here the settings. Ah, it's already configured with SRC. And I will click here, start analysis. Now it literally took two seconds to run the scan on all the smart contracts. And you can see that it found three eyes, one medium and one low unchecked token transfer and potential re-entry. Let's see what's going on here. So here, unchecked token transfer in this uh, neuron.sol. This neuron.sol, you see, I don't even have to go through the smart contracts. I get some kind of initial idea by using this tool, what is this repository about? So what is this uh, neuron.sol? It's an ERC20 token. And here in line 143, we use transfer from uh, without checking the return value. So if you've been through the smart contract hacking course, you know that it's a big no-no. When you transfer a token, you wanna there is a return value and you want to make sure that it's equals true. Or you want to use the safe transfer library by Open Zeppelin. Here we can see that in the claim function, they use the transfer form function uh, to transfer to the form the treasury to the message sender this amount of tokens without checking the return value. Now, this is okay because basically uh, they're implementing, they are transferring only the neuron, neuron token, which is a standard ERC20 token. So if the transfer will fail, it will revert the transaction. So it's not a real issue over here, but it might show you the potential of this tool because if it wasn't transferring the neuron token, it was another token, this would be a critical issue because some tokens do not revert in case the transfer fails, they just return false. And if we do not return, we don't check the return value here, we might think that we transferred the tokens, uh, but we didn't. So the state can be manipulated. Let's try to fix the vulnerability here, even though it's not vulnerability, but let's just try to fix and see what happened here with Olympics. So I'm just gonna do um, bool success equals. So I'm just gonna get this uh, value that returns from the transfer form, save the file, and as you can see, the issue was removed interactively in real time. I just need to fix the vulnerability, save the file, and that's it. It's gonna disappear from the list. We have another uh, potential issue here, potential re-entry. So here we can see in the contract stake at risk.sol, line 93, and ranked battle.sol, line 416. So we can click here, jump directly to the function. We can see reclaim NRN, and this function probably doesn't follow checks effects interactions and doesn't have a re-entry protection, which is the case over here. It's an external function without re-entry guard. Here we have a checks, require statements, then we have interactions and only after we have effects, right? So maybe this external call, this interaction might be, uh, might have a callback and then we can call again the function and manipulate the state. I don't know, but this is an edge, an idea that Olympics can give you to explore further. That's why it says potential reentry because it's not guaranteed that it's vulnerable to reentry attacks, but it basically found a place where checks effects interactions are not followed. Here we have another one in the add results to points, probably here. We don't follow the checks effects interactions and it could be potential re-entry attacks. We have here also uninitialized state variables. Again, sometimes it might be okay, sometimes not okay. But the idea here that as a developer, Olympics help you to find all these low hanging fruit solidity vulnerabilities. And as an auditor, it gives you an idea about the code base and it might open new creative ideas for you to find issues to write in your audit report or submit to the auditing contest, which is amazing. And the last thing I want to show you is a comparison between Olympics to Slither. So if you're a static analyzer fan and you used Slither before, you can see here the comparison between these two tools in terms of detectors, false positives, true positives, and accuracy of detecting real vulnerabilities. So this is a comparison that was executed on the 
Euler Finance Repository, as you can see over here. Uh, I will put also the link in the description if you want to check it out in details. And here you can see the, the summary. So you can see that uh, Olympics has much lower rate of false positives when it comes to detection compared to Slither. You can see that Olympics also detects more vulnerabilities. It has more true positives. And this is how Olympics is more accurate compared to Slither. So if you're you you wondering which static analyzer is better we have here the answer apart from the ui and ux advantages it's also more accurate and it has less false positives and more true positives compared to slither and again guys take advantage while this tool is free install it play with it use it either if you're a developer or auditor it's in a better access it's completely completely for free and you can get it for free by using my link in the description this one johnny time olympics early access and then you can install this vs codex extension and start using olympics fix vulnerabilities fix all the security issues yourself before booking an external audit if you enjoyed this video please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome web3 security tutorials also if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below i'm super responsive and very happy to help you out thank you so much for learning with me and joining the white hat web3 security forces and i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye